Welcome back everybody. This is Glockman4519. Uh, I thought maybe I would show you guys how to flash uh, 6 AOSP ROM. Uh, since I'm uh, doing my video format uh, like this, uh, I can actually show you this. Uh, so basically what we want to do is, and instead of me using the buttons, I'm just going to go over to multi-ROM here real quick. And I'll use that to uh, go ahead and power into, and I'm using Magisk uh, uh, Super Su, uh, but you guys can use Super Su uh, 278. That's actually the uh, uh, the super user that um, Frankie T recommends. Uh, I'm only using this because there's a, there's a couple other projects I'm, I'm working on with my phone, uh, and I use Magisk for that, uh, just to let you guys know. Um, but we're, I'm going to use uh, multi-ROM to go ahead and boot into the recovery so I don't have to fight with all the the, the, uh, the buttons on it. So I'm going to click uh, reboot recovery. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure what uh, they're going what Frankie recommends for your recovery. Uh, I am going to tell you guys I'm using uh, 3020 um and it's uh just because that's multi-roms uh recovery uh, which is twerp uh three zero two zero i'm having no issues at all with um with any of these um uh, nougat roms um you definitely should flash the bootloader and the radios though you need the latest bootloader and radios to run uh enrom and to run it to run nougat and run it properly You've got to have the, uh, the that bootloader flash. You've got to have those radios flash. The radios maybe not maybe aren't quite as important. Uh, they're going to actually um, you know help you with your Wi-Fi and your uh, data and all that. Uh, so, but you do have to have that bootloader flash. Uh, and even though you have end bootloader, you can still go back to Marshmallow or you know or lower. Uh, but it's just the way Nexus works. So, anyways. Um, for those of you that are not going to be on multi-ROM, uh, basically all you do is uh, you, you want to download the uh, files first. Uh, and we'll get to that. I'll show you what files you need. Uh, but you, uh, you want to download the files, uh, the zips. Um, and once you have them on your, your device and you know they're there, uh, then you want to boot into recovery, a twerp recovery. Uh, you want to go to wipe. Uh, you want to go to advanced wipe. Uh, and then you want to pick uh, Delvic Cache system data and cache all right uh, you pick those four do not touch your internal storage because your zip is going to be on there and you don't want to lose your zip uh, then you swipe over you, you physically swipe that over and wipe it now I'm not going to do it because I don't want to lose my ROM on there um, but that's basically what you do all right that is going to wipe your partitions and get you ready to install the ROM Okay, now once you've done your wipe, you want to go to install, and then you want to find the folder that you put these in. And the easiest way to do this is to download all the, all the uh, zip files and any other files that uh, Frankie recommends, put them all into one folder. I, I put them all into one folder called 6, and they're in um, my downloads uh, folder in my internal storage. Okay, so the first one, obviously, that you want to flash is... The latest version of 6, uh, six ROM, uh, which is NBD90X Shamu uh, 7.0. And you'll see that it is uh, build um, 2016 6. I thought there was a newer one than that. Uh, let me. Yeah, that. No, I, well, anyways, you flash his ROM first, okay? Uh, Pick that, swipe over to confirm. Uh, you're going to swipe to confirm to flash, and it's going to flash it. Okay. When it's done, you'll click back. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to install the uh, the Open Gaps ARM 7.0 or ARM Open Gaps Open Gaps ARM. Uh, you want to make sure it's the uh, uh, 7.0 or Nougat Gaps, um, and you want to pick the Pico version. Okay, right there. So you would pick that, you would swipe to flash that, okay, and it'll flash. Once it's done, I usually wipe cache and Delvic, okay? Anytime I flash gaps, I always wipe cache and Delvic after I'm done. You guys don't have to if you don't want to. Since you wiped uh, your whole system clean 
uh, with a fresh start, really, you don't, you really don't need to do that. Okay, after you, uh, after you flash the, uh, the open gaps, uh, he recommends that you flash Super Su uh, V278. And this is this, this is the SR1. Okay, so you want to flash that. So next up is going to be your Super Su. Get that. Swipe the flash. Okay, it, it, once it's done, uh, once it's done flashing, uh, you're going to come back in here again. And then you are going to pick his themed gaps, okay? And they're Frankie's themed gaps. They're called six ROM gaps, theme ready. So what that means is these gaps are going to allow you to run a theme, and they're not going to conflict with the theme because they're they're already uh, they're theme ready. So you want to pick them. Uh, let me find them again. Six ROM gaps. Uh, make sure you have that six ROM gaps, and you want to swipe to confirm the flash, and it will flash those. All right. Uh, again, normally after I do that, uh, after you're done flashing it, there will be a button that says reboot uh, to system or uh, uh, wipe cache and Delvic. I always wipe cache and Delvic after I flash any gaps. Uh, after you flash the gaps, um, the uh, theme ready gaps, you're pretty much ready to boot. You can boot into system and set it up. Um, if you go on to the site, uh, the XDA thread for the Nexus 6, uh, the three minute mod thread, uh, search 826 built me a zip. I'm actually gonna have him post it um, so everybody can download it. Uh, if you wanna run it, I would wait until after you boot the ROM first for the first time, get it set up, then you can boot back into recovery and then flash the three minute mod if you want it, okay? Um, and it's just pick it, swipe to confirm, and that's it, all right? But uh, the process for flashing this ROM, first you wanna flash the ROM. Next, you wanna flash the open gaps, Pico version, okay? And you'll make sure it's uh, Android 7.0 or you're gonna get a fault. <laughs> it's not gonna finish. It's gonna say you have the wrong gaps, all right? So you flash the ROM, you flash the gaps, you flash Super Su uh, version uh, 278, and then you flash his uh, theme ready gaps. Uh, once you've done that, you just reboot the system and go. All right, that's how you do it. Give it time to boot, guys. It's gonna take some time on the first run, all right? You've, you've gotta give it time to boot. Now, for those of you that are on multi-ROM, all right, uh, we're gonna go ahead and boot back into recovery. Um, the flashing, uh, you can't flash a NuGet ROM onto the secondary partition. Okay, you just can't. You you can't not secondary partition uh, to your uh, secondary slot. You can't do it. Um, you can, and it it'll actually flash like it was meant to flash. But it, it's it's going to just stand there, and you're just going to be in a constant boot up. It will never finish booting. Uh, the only way to do it properly is to do what I just did. Then you want to reboot your system, set up the ROM all the way that you, just like you want it so you don't have to flash anything else to it, okay? Once you're done uh, setting up your account and flashing everything to it, then boot back into recovery and then you want to go over to here. Uh, you want to pick uh, swap ROMs, okay? Then what you want to do is you want to copy your primary ROM to your secondary, okay? Pick that um, and make sure that uh, down in here, if you have, uh, let me see, copy ROMs to your secondary. And why isn't showing my secondaries? New ROMs name. Oh, I know why, because I didn't swap it. <laughs> uh, I'm just copying it. Now, if I would pick, uh, let me see, swap primary with a secondary, it's going to show you what you have in your secondaries already. All right, I have... Uh, um, Pure Nexus and uh, Shamu. Now, we're not going to do that because, you know, obviously that's not going to be there. What you want to do is you want to copy your primary uh, primary ROM into your secondary. Swipe to to, uh, to confirm that. It's going to copy that in there, all right? Um, once it's copied in there, then you can go back into your primary ROM and you can actually throw whatever you want on your primary ROM. I'm going to tell you guys right now, N, N ROMs run better in your primary. You put them in your secondary, you're going to end up with issues sooner or later. I would leave your N, your NuGet ROMs, in the primary position, at least until multi-ROM gets updated. But I will tell you this, 
Um, as long as you flash it in your primary and then copy it over into your secondary, like I just showed you how to do, you'll be able to boot back and forth. And I will show you that. Uh, we are going to go back. I'm going to reboot uh, into system. And uh, I'll show you guys. Um, you, you saw I was on uh, uh, the uh, 6 ROM. Uh, by we're going to cancel that and I'm going to boot into the uh, Pure Nexus build. And if actually this is the first time I booted there now, I might have did something wrong and it might not boot now for me because I'm making a video, but we'll see. Um, I can't think of anything else. Uh, you just flash it to your primary ROM, uh, your primary spot. Uh, and you boot the ROM up and you set it up the way you want it then you reboot back into recovery and then copy that into your secondary or swap it with a secondary ROM but that's how you get it into a secondary position but for those of you that are just flashing this straight out using standard uh, twerp just follow the instructions that I showed you in the beginning of the video see I don't think it's gonna boot uh, I actually had an issue getting moving that over. I think it might not have got all the files. So, uh, yeah, and it, I, it would it would figure. So what I'm just going to do right now is just reboot here real quick. Anyways, guys, that's it. We are going to go ahead and just boot now and boot into our primary, uh, which would be 6 ROM. And it could also be a Magisk thing, too. Um, I think I'm running uh, standard Super Sue on one and Magisk on another because I'm, uh, I'm testing something out. There it goes. And just wait for it to boot and that's it I know this will boot up because uh, I've been running this all night long rebooting and rebooting and rebooting and I've had that secondary ROM on I was actually switching back and forth between them uh, I don't know why it's not booting now uh, but there we are we're back but that guys that's how you flash six AOSP okay it's that simple uh, guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up um, I want to thank all my subscribers and I will see you guys on the next one